Far from the Egyptian capital, a group of young Egyptians have invested in a rare business. With very little investment, they've established a project that produces a highly needed component for pharmaceutical companies, Venom. This is a scorpion's farm. It's a rare business in Egypt, so right now it's quite profitable. But it's not an easy one. You must first learn the behavior of the creatures, how dangerous they are, and understand beside venom how a scorpion can be used. At first, we were tensed. We only handled scorpions with equipment. Step by step, we understood the movement of the scorpions. Then we started holding them with our bare hands. This project can start with as little as $2,000 of initial investment and just a 16 square meters room. Every 1,000 of these frightening creatures produce a bit over 1 gram of dried venom, sold domestically for about $800. It's used by pharmaceuticals to create antibiotics, vaccinations and other medicines. Ashri and his partners began in 2015. Today, they have over a dozen farms with a total of 50,000 scorpions in addition to other poisonous snakes. Their venom is made of protein. It mainly feeds on insects. So we must give it high-protein insects like locusts, cockroaches, and specific worms, like the mealworm. Aiming for self-sustainability and avoiding the high fluctuations of worms prices, the team decided to create their own worms and insects farm to feed their scorpions. Most of these creatures are from a swan, they are known as Luria scorpions, or the death stalkers. Before going into that business, like most people, Ashri thought their sting was deadly. We realize that adult scorpion bites are not that fatal. They actually have beneficial factors. They strengthen the immune system and increases red and white blood cells. In the wild, they can live for 20 years. Here, however, they are only useful for just six months. After that, their venom is not as pure as required for business. Because this species is common in Egypt, the scorpions are dried and then crushed. Their powder is then used to make cosmetics. Until their time comes, they will remain warm in these boxes, fueling this unique business to later heal thousands of people. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.